Oh, my name is Uncle Timo and I will guide you through the process of making this uh, game, uh, War in the Pacific Unreal Edition, run on modern computers. Uh, number one is, of course, you get it. Uh, you get the executable file from the uh, Matrix uh, store. You run it. You check the version. If the version is lower than this one, you apply as many patches as necessary, one after the other, <coughs> to uh, to make it run. It goes from the bottom, May 2008, to the last one, uh, March 2015. So you apply all of these, which as necessary. Uh, then you go to this site, which is patch 7, unofficial public beta, and you apply the unofficial 7th patch. Okay? So you do that. Uh, <clears throat> this is an executable, so what it will do is it will actually create a, a second uh, shortcut for the beta version, which is kind of cool. So you can run vanilla and you can run beta. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, after that, what I recommend you do is uh, this post scenarios available for WATPAE. Uh, <clears throat> these are scenarios where the AI is fixed. There are actually uh, many of the new scenarios are installing on the uh, new places in the game, so they will not overwrite the uh, stock scenarios, which is what you want, which is pretty cool. And these are new ones. Um, the babes uh, is basically a mod scenario. If you don't have installed the babes, don't install the babes. Okay, just install the ones that don't say the babes, and you can skip AI testing too. Uh, but like new scenario one, uh, Iron Man nasty. There's also uh, between the storms. I didn't get this one, but I got uh, Burma campaign and different different stuff. <clears throat> Uh, especially small map scenarios I recommend for new guys. Uh, Battle of Burma, Return to Wake. Um, there's also, which one is a cool one? Uh, Coral Sea, AI fixed. And then Guadalcanal is actually um, also fixed. Okay. So we get that going. And then what you can do is there is actually scenario updates. So after installing the scenarios available, and you can see the dates here, 2012, 2015, etc. Um, there are <clears throat> these, uh, you go to here, patch 7 unofficial data scenario updates, and you run this, and word of warning, these scenarios, and these updates to the scenarios, okay, you want to put them in the send folder. So it's uh, Matrix Games, we're in the Pacific Advanced Edition, uh, and then you want to go to the SCEN folder and apply those there, both scenarios and updates. Okay? So you want to do that. And then finally to run the game, what you want to do is, whoops, you want to, uh, the shortcut that's here, that's for the beta, when I hit properties, you want to hit the shortcut, okay, this is for the beta one, with the improved AI and improved everything, so to run on modern computers, and you can see that, you know, it points to the executable. After the executable, you want to put space, and you want to put minus F for full screen, minus DD underscore SW to help the processor, minus deep color, C is capitalized, for modern computers to have better color, minus fixed art, a is capitalized, minus single CPU orders, and that's extremely important because the game is optimized to run on single CPU. If you ha don't have this, the game will lag. Trust me on that one. So single CPU orders, and S and C and O are capitalized. Minus archive if you choose to run the tracker, which is not necessary for you, but if you want to run the tracker later on, cool. Uh, minus alt font, F capitalized, and then minus PX1920 minus PY1080. And this is basically to get the whole screen going. <clears throat> and then at the end you can put uh, minus skip video with V capitalized just to skip the first video, which is not really a huge thing, but whatever. And this will run it on modern computers. This will. Uh, this is not a windowed game now. Uh, most people run it windowed. This will run full screen without lag, uh, with big with bigger icons, so you can see. Better. Okay, the game in high resolutions is harder to see. When it's full screen like that, you will be able to see better. So, 
that's that. And at the end, what I recommend you do after all of this is to go to this site at Sites Google. Uh, it's WITPAE Video Toots, so tutorials. And you can watch as many. I recommend you watch them all. They're actually very well done, except that the guy, uh, <laughs> sometimes the sound of the guy is low and the microphone is placed next to a, a fan for the computer. And I think this will be done in like 2012 <laughs> or something like that. So, yeah. But these are the best tutorials for this game. And they go through everything, how to create a task force of ships and move them and combat with them. Uh, same for air groups, how to create them, uh, how to create uh, land units, uh, production for Japan, and simple movement of land units, how to use political points and buy them, uh, industry, very important for Japan if you play the campaign game, which I'm not, I'm not advanced yet. And all of this stuff is great, so go to the site at the end, watch all of these things, and you will learn a lot. All right, that sh that's my video in English, I will now do one in Polish. <clears throat> with the same uh, with the same process okay take care